How to create dashboard in AppSheet Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create dashboard in AppSheet. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. And to create an account in AppSheet, you could also use my affiliate link below the description where I earn a small commission but no additional cost to you. And by using the link, you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up. But before that, if you don't know what is AppSheet, it is a no-code application development platform created by Google that enables users to build mobile and web apps directly from data sources such as Google Sheets, Excel, and other cloud-based spreadsheets or databases, in which it is designed for users with a little to no programming experience, allowing them to create custom business applications through a user-friendly interface. And AppSheet offers features like data collection, automation, workflows, offline capabilities and integration with various services, making it suitable for a wide range of use cases. So now to create an account, just click the link in the description or click the get started button. But you could also navigate the pricing plan in here with the corresponding prices and list of benefits included on each plan. You could also choose here the kind of plan that you prefer. After signing in, you will be directed on this homepage of AppSheet. And as you can see, I've already signed in. And from here to start creating here a dashboard, the first thing that we need to do is simply click the databases right here and it will show you some of your database for your application. But to create one, just click the create button and click here this database. Where you could also click the import from sheets. By doing so, on this pop-up window, you can simply select the file that you want to import. Or alternatively, you can click new database which is to start from scratch. As you can see, you will now be able to see here a kind of example of database. We have here the title, the assignee, the status, and the date. With each item, the name, the status of it, and the dating here. You can click on it to start customizing this one. For example, the status. By simply clicking this drop-down menu, it will show you that you can simply choose either complete progress and many more. You could also add here a column by clicking on it such as the type of column, for example, color, and I'm going to select here this for color in here. And after that, just click the save button. By doing so, as you can see, we have now successfully create a new column in here, which is with color. So we can label any color that we prefer on each item in here. Now aside from that, if you also have many columns, you could click this columns option on the right side panel in here, to show all of your table columns in here and aside from that on this page you could also to choose the kind of view you want in here on this database by clicking this one option you could also click the save view or the screen view in here if you have the option to choose either kanban view which look like a gallery or a card where you can simply drag any item for example under this in progress or this complete item i'm going to input or replace in here no status so as you can see it is now currently added in here and you could also take it back by simply dragging it directly once again you could also configure by clicking this one we have here to enter the date the new column and many more to add in our details and as you can see it is now added the date in here aside from kanban you could also choose the calendar in order to see the calendar view of our item in this calendar view you could choose also this queue to see on the left side panel the item while on the right side panel the details of it. And in those type of view, I'm going to choose the Kanban one. And after that, you could also start adding a row if you want to by clicking this add row button and just simply enter the title, the assignee that you want to assign for this row for item. For example, I'm just going to enter a random name, John C. And after that, under the status, you can choose here depending on your preferences and you could also enter the date by selecting here the date and new column if you want to now as you can see here here the color that we can choose and click the save button on the top in order to save it now, as you can see you should be able to see here that it is now currently added you could also do the group status and even filter the result in here by clicking on it you should be able to see some other options on the top and even sort all of items if you have more than 100 items that you can do easily in here now moving on you could also click this add table to create a new table since you only have here one table available now as you can see we have here this blank table that we can simply add on the row the title in here the text 
or any other information that you want to enter or details. If you know here the name and you could also add here more column if you want to or edit this column with different type of enumeration, drop down and many more. So all you need to do is simply enter here the kind of details you want and also the type. For example, I'm going to select number since we're going to add here age. And for this nice column, I'm going to enter here email and text as the type. Now as you can see, you can simply fill out this required information as an example of it. For the name, I'm just going to simply enter here a kind of name, for example, Mark M. And followed by number 2, John K. Moving on, aside from that, you could also enter the description or details on any of this part of details. But as you can see, that's how you can start adding or creating a new table. I'm going to rename this database sample dashboard in here. But aside from that, you could also navigate some other options below here to navigate, including the settings option on the top right corner, in which by simply clicking the settings icon, it will show you that you can view the database history, audit logs, edit database description, and many more. And you could also click this apps to add another apps or new app sheet in here if you want to. Moving on, by clicking the share button on the top right, you can share it from your friends. And you could also enter here their role as editor, writer, commenter, or even a viewer only. So you just click this copy link to database to proceed. So after that, we have now successfully created here, as you can see, a database with the title sample dashboard. And since we're trying to make a dashboard, make sure to make it more detailed as possible. And now as you can see, it is now added in here. You could also go on the left side panel to navigate to create an app in here using the template. But by clicking the templates option on the left side panel, from here it will show you some the app template that you can choose from to add the dashboard or the database that we just created. For example, this one, I'm going to simply see here the preview on the right side panel to see what it looks like. And by clicking copy and customize button, we can enter the name and click copy up button to proceed. Then after that, you should be able to see here the result. All you need to do is wait for it to load since it is currently setting up the application that you just selected, which is the template. Now we should be able to see here that we have now successfully created the database. And all we need to do is simply import it directly on this app. And to do it, all you need to do is simply go on the left side panel when you can start navigating some other options. For example, this data. From here, you can simply click data sources or click this plus button and just choose a database on this pop-up window and simply choose the sample dashboard and click add to tables. In order to successfully importing the dashboard that we just created using the database. So basically, creating a dashboard in AppSheet is important because it provides a centralized and interactive view of key data helping users to make informed decisions quickly and efficiently. But overall, that is just basically how you can create a dashboard in AppSheet. Thank you.